Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the Buffalo Bills versus Atlanta Falcons week four matchup based on analytics. Uh, each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. Uh, and we are three weeks into the season, so it's not the biggest sample size ever. However, there will always be little nuggets of truth in every sample of data you see, which could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you are new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So starting with this week's matchup. So when you look at the basic data, the basic team data between uh, both these teams, it slightly favors the Buffalo Bills. As shocking as that may sound, and, and one thing I want to remind you guys is the data I'm presenting to you today is how both these teams have performed in various metrics that matter to winning over the course of three weeks. It's not about how they performed last week. It's not about how they performed in week two. It's not about how they performed in week one. It's how they performed over the course of that three week range. And yes, it is a somewhat small sample size, but as the season goes on, again, as the season goes on, it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and things will start to become more apparent as you look at the data. So um, kind of getting into some of the reasons why. So the reasons why the Bills are favored in this game based on data. Um, the big thing that favors them is uh, turnover ratio. Uh, you know, when you look at the turnover ratio of the Buffalo Bills uh, versus the Atlanta Falcons, the Falcons have been above average in terms of preventing turnovers, but they haven't been amazing when it comes to preventing turnovers. And turnovers oftentimes do w win and lose football games, you know, based on the turnover battle. So um, that's one reason why the Bills are favoring this game is because they don't turn over the football a lot. And turn over the football a lot. On top of that, the defense has just been better um, than the Falcons' defense. I mean, I don't think that this should be a shock to say that the Buffalo Bills' defense is better than the Falcons' defense. Yeah. But that definitely is the sort of thing. And the Bills' offense has not exactly been as good as the Falcons' offense by a stretch of the imagination. Uh, but the Bills' offense has at least been able to create first downs fairly well. Uh, but not really, they haven't been the best in terms of putting up points, but they have been fairly decent in terms of creating first downs to offense. So, um, which is always sort of a good sign for um, your ability to kind of move the football up and down the field, even if you don't really do as well in terms of putting up points. And then, of course, when you look at, at um, things that help the Falcons is offensive score percentage. I mean, the Falcons have one of the best offensive score percentages, which is basically the number of times that the offense scores per possession. So they've been very good in terms of that, whereas the the uh, the Bills have not been very good. Um, so there is, the Falcons do have some advantages. You know, they have some advantages when it comes to that. Um, the sack issue, though, uh, the Bills are not very good in terms of preventing sacks, but the Falcons are actually below average when it comes to preventing sacks. So I think that's definitely a matchup to kind of watch in this game. Uh, then, of course, when you look at preventing points, the Bills have been much better in terms of preventing points than the Falcons, which should be obvious because the Bills' defense is just better than the Falcons' defense. Uh, when you look at turnovers, the Bills have been a little bit better in terms of uh, uh, forcing turnovers. Then when you look at sack percentage, uh, the Bills have just had a much higher sack percentage than the Falcons. And I might add that they're going up against the Falcons who have had issues in terms of preventing sacks over the course of the last three weeks. So that's definitely a matchup to watch. And of course, in terms of interception percentage, the Bills have been much better in terms of uh, creating turnovers with interceptions versus the Falcons who have been not really doing much in terms of turnovers um you know again if your if your defense is not the best in terms of preventing points it should at least turn the football over occasionally and that has not exactly been the case for the falcons defense uh when you look at special teams though uh the falcons do have advantages when it comes to punt return yardage kick return yardage favors the bills but both these teams are not exactly the best when it comes to uh uh, kick return yardage uh, when you look at preventing punt return yardage it favors the bills and when you look at uh, uh, preventing kick return yardage it favors the falcons uh, so overall defensively it's kind of a lot you know whether you're talking punt returns kick returns i would say it slightly favors the falcons just because having a very high punt return yardage average is very good in terms of field position uh, but overall, I would, yeah, I, I would say that when it comes to yardage created through special teams, I think the advantage is definitely on the Falcons' side. Uh, then when you look at field goal percentage, it favors the Falcons. Uh, extra point percentage favors the Falcons. And of course, um, 
Uh, punting average also favors the Falcons. So in terms of field position, I think the Falcons will have advantages in this game when it comes to um, uh, field position sort of scenarios and stuff like that. Uh, which again is why, uh, but the basic thing, I mean the basic thing you have to understand is that the Bills are favored, but the only reason why they're favored is because the Falcons defense is uh, not up to par, if you will. I mean that that's really the only reason why the Bills are favored in this game is because of that. And uh, I, when I do my final sort of statement on the game, you know, you understand why I kind of disagree with the data to a certain extent. Then when we get to completion percentage data, so this is the Bills offense versus the Falcons defense. Uh, the Bills will have advantages in terms of first down situations. They will not have advantages advantages when it comes to second down situations. Third down situations is pretty much even between these two teams. Uh, then of course when you get to the Falcons offense versus the Bills defense in terms of completion percentage, the Falcons will have advantages on second down and third down. Uh, not so much in terms of first down. The Bills have been, uh, the Falcons have not been the best in terms of creating first downs. Uh, on first down with their pass, but they have been good in terms of second down situations and third down situations. Uh, when you look at the rushing, uh, so the ability to create first downs with the rush, uh, the Bills have been kind of below average in this particular area um, uh, when it comes to creating first downs with the, with uh, the running game. So, um, but but there's a good there's good news though. The Falcons defense is not good at preventing the rush, so this will be, be sort of an advantage for the Bills, uh, despite the fact they've had issues in terms of creating first downs with the run. They're playing a defense that has had issues preventing first downs to the run. So this is definitely a fun matchup to kind of see how it transpires. Uh, then, of course, when you get to the Falcons offense versus the Bills defense when it comes to rushing, um, pretty evenly matched in terms of first down. But I think the key for the Falcons is second down situations and third down situations. The Bills do really well in terms of preventing the rush in first down situations. But when it comes to preventing the rush in second down situations and third down situations, just hasn't exactly been in the Bills' favor compared to the Falcons. Then, of course, when you get to passing situations, so uh, this basically looks at the Bills passing offense versus the Falcons defense in terms of the ability to create first downs in various uh, situations. Uh, the Bills have advantages on first down, not so much on second down or third down. So the, the Falcons passing defense is actually favored in this game when it comes to passing defense situations. So definitely a matchup to watch, uh, you know, in this particular game. Then, of course, when we get to uh, the Falcons' offense versus the Bills' defense, this is where the true matchup is going to lie. Uh, the Bills have advantages when it comes to first down situ situations, third down situations, and second down situations, where it's a little, it's actually evenly matched in terms of second down situations. But I would say overall, this is a pretty even matchup between the Falcons' offense and the Bills' defense. Um, so, a, a very interesting sort of scenario to watch, but. Uh, you know, the Bills' pass defense is, has been no slouch. You know, they, they've been performing fairly well. Um, but it is going to be a fun matchup to see how it all kind of, you know, turns out uh, next week. Then, of course, you look at sack ratio. So this is basically the ability, uh, the offense's ability to prevent sacks and the defense's ability to get sacks, you know, basically comparing that sort of rate. And when you look at the Buffalo Bills, that looks like a pretty evenly matched, but it favors the Falcons, but it pretty evenly matched overall. Uh, the Bills overwhelmingly have advantage when it comes to second down situations. They've not been giving up sacks that much in terms of second down situations. And third down situations, uh, they have a slight advantage in that particular matchup. But overall, the Bills have been fairly well at preventing sacks in terms of first down situations and, and uh, second down situations. And most of the sacks for the Falcons have come on first down situations. Uh, so just kind of food for thought. And then, of course, when you look at the Falcons offense versus the Bills defense, uh, the Bills have advantages in terms of creating sacks on first down overwhelmingly on second on second down the bills create a lot of sacks in those areas and the only advantage the falcons have is in, is in terms of third down situations the falcons have been pretty good in terms of preventing sacks in third down situations um, especially third and long situations uh, which is sometimes surprising but yeah you know that's just something to kind of think about uh, and then of course when you look at interception ratio between the bills and the falcons uh, this pretty much favors the Falcons defense except when it comes to third down situations the Bills have been pretty decent in terms of uh, Preventing interceptions in crucial situations, you know third down situations um, So this pretty much favors the Bills and of course lastly when you look at the Falcons office versus the Bills defense uh, It favors the Bills in terms of first down situations and third down situations. However um, uh, The Bills do have advantages in terms of second down um, not Bills, but Falcons have advantages when it comes to uh, second down situations. But it's fairly evenly matched in terms of that particular area. But um, uh, overall, how do I feel about this matchup? Well, 
the basic thing that I, you know, I'm again, I'm a guy that's been doing data for about four years now, and the basic thing I usually do is, is I usually go with the offense. Um, the the old adage of teams that you know have offensive advantages, well, not offensive advantage, but defensive advantage, you know, defensive based football teams, which is what the Buffalo Bills are. These teams can win football games, you know, defensive defensive football, running the football, stuff like that. That can win football games, but when you play a team like the Falcons, that is, you know, built, you know, like a race car, if you will. You know, it's built like a race car. It's basically its job is to put up points and to have you match. Overwhelmingly, the defense eventually, at some point, gets tired, and the offense just can't maintain drives, and mainly it just can't put up points. And I think that's my big worry, especially when it comes to special teams. Because the field position stuff, the thing that you would want your defensive-minded team to win at favors the Falcons. You know, the Falcons, when it comes to punt return yardage, significantly better than the Bills. And when it comes to preventing punt return yardage, favors, uh, you know, the Falcons. And then, of course, when you look at field goal percentage and extra point percentage in terms of putting up points in those crucial situations, you know, putting up points is what the Falcons do best. So as as much as I could give you a play, you know, I could give you a script as to how the Bills could win this game, which is their defense performs well. The defense gets some crucial turnovers. The Bills offense doesn't mess up. They take advantage of sort of a weak Falcons defense, especially when it comes to their rushing defense, which is kind of their biggest sort of Achilles heel. Um, yeah, there is a there is a playbook to beat the Falcons, to play the defensive football sort of game. But I'm not seeing that in this game. Um, so again, the data does favor the Bills just because they're a little bit more balanced. You know, they have a, a little bit, you know, a better defense, obviously, but also... Their offense, at least, isn't terrible. You know, they do some things well, which is why they're favored in this game. But I still got to go with the Falcons. I just think that, you know, when a very offensive-heavy team plays a more defensive sort of team, and also when you look at the special teams matchups, the special team just heavily favors the Falcons. I just got to go Falcons. So that's who I'm going to go with. Uh, of course, the, the data favors the Bills, but I'm going with the Falcons. Of course, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.